and welcome to my first voice thing, whatever this is called, tutorial thing, because you guys ask, ask for this in the comments recently, so, yeah. <laughs> so I, I sound really awkward because it's the first time doing this, and uh, yeah, just, you know, I will. Okay, so when I start drawing, or like, this is personal for me, I use the uh, technical pen, because it just, you know, looks right, <laughs> and I use it with like, a size, like here, I don't have it like, big, well you can do it, you can adjust like, the thing on here, many people use Autodesk, you can use this, more than this, so either way you do it, it's just the same thing really. To be honest, I'm using my finger to draw this, and sometimes it gets very laggy, as you can see, but it doesn't really bother me. Right thing, the, the right like, size, or your size and opacity, to do the first layer. So I add layers using this add thing on the right uh, side, the little plush thing next to the uh, colour picker. And that's how you add layers and this is the menu for the layers and there is copy, copy the thing that's in the layer so if I draw like this little thing and then copy it and then clear it clears there and then paste boom and you can move it around and using this you can flip it you can go frame by frame by using this up and down like that and with the uh, distort you can distort the image some wacky effects right now is happening you know move it you can tilt it you know I think I'm gonna draw a pony because it's a lot more simpler than a dragon even though dragons you can do a simpler dragon if you want but I'm just gonna do a pony because it's faster and not saying like it's easier but you know sorry for the weird background sounds I'm using my tablet mic to talk because I don't have a connectable mic so it sounds bad. <laughs> this is my first, this is my first voice thing, voice reveal for having, you know. I usually, I was going to do this voice tutorial thing for my, uh, for about, for a thousand, what? A thousand subscribers on YouTube. You guys want me to do this, like, recently now so I decided to do it because I can't just do speed paint after speed paint after speed paint because it just gets boring I'm just trying to mix it up this is like gonna be like a one-off thing or if you guys like this write down in the comments or leave a like on it I might do a dragon next time if you, if you guys want me to carry on this tutorial thing let's jump in to it then what I did was the basic sketch what I did was add a circle here here and there as I show you in the little sped up version and I do the legs with well now I do the legs with an oval and then like an arch like that as you can see and by moving the image which I showed you in like the first bit of the video I used uh, the uh, picture moving thing to shrink it and like move it around and that's how you do it on here the basic pose yeah I'm not going to do that sped up in the 
line up. I need to show you how I do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be very helpful with it. So, I add a layer by, by using the uh, plus add layer. Uh, and then use the opacity 200 because you've got to get the uh, line art. And then shrink it down to like. 6, 1.5 size otherwise it would be way too thick and you just test it out like this see if it's right then by when you want to zoom in you gotta zoom in like with your I'm using my finger so you gotta spread your fingers out by zooming it in and if you want to zoom out you pinch the screen to zoom out and this on auto desk so what I always do is start with the eyes and I do like a overly uh, shaped eye kind of starting from starting from uh, the bottom where like the nose would be and and then going over the top like that and then like connecting it here at the bottom because I think it's just an exploit so I do it like that, I do it like naturally draw it on the uh, line here uh, to show you where the eyes should go on this bit here, that's why I did the uh, plus sign and from that I do the uh, nose either here but that's like slightly hours to uh, like where the head is we we'll do like really quickly because it's only like the sketch bit so I am very I'm a I'm not professional <laughs> at all in any way so you do the uh, nostrils nose things as well and you need to keep like zooming in and out like this to get it not perfect but like get it accurate and do like a little cheek there and uh, to rub out the eraser obviously to uh, rub out or you can just undo like I'm constantly doing right now and you do the uh, chin you do like 10 times and what you do is ears up here like to the eye and if it's too like fat or anything like that you can just use the distort to make it the right shape like I'm doing right now you just press this the arrow button the transform button that's what it's called not not the image moving thing what I said before <laughs> And if you want to move the face, you just move it like that, just a little bit. Not not too far, otherwise it looks very weird. Yeah. That's the basic face that I do. Next, I, I go with the uh, legs. I do like a little shoulder here. You move the screen by putting your index finger and your thumb on the screen at the same time. And you move it like that. I should have told you that like at the start of the video, but you know, first time doing this, and everyone just has his own thing. And you do this leg like that. You just do the line like this, and you just repeat with the other leg as well. Let's torso a bit. Just do a simple curved line. And the neck, like that. Or just copy what I'm doing on your picture. You can do this like traditionally as well. And then the body, what I do below there, is like a simple like curve itcher for the uh, thigh. It's the same with the at uh, like the bottom.
and you do the uh, hind leg or the back leg curve and following the uh, skeleton sketch and do the hoof and like that and I like that because I'm bushing it a little bit and if you want to move the uh, leg because I want to do that just move it in and out like that and just distort it a little bit so it fits the actual thing the actual body make the leg a bit thicker by using the uh, lasso okay lasso <laughs> that's like a pokemon you move it up like that you by using the um, this bit next to the uh, transformer yeah to get your uh, shape you just pick like that by using that so you just simply just cover the line what you want to move and you can just move it with the transformer it does it automatically so you don't have to pick it manually and then go into the uh, sketch layer and just clear that and boom got your basic pony sketch oh no why not all right <laughs> gotta get on the uh, first layer of your sketch and then with the uh, this opacity layer uh, here it goes up and down or goes left and right <laughs> it goes left and right the more you put it left it goes the more you can't see it and when you go right you can see it so I usually put it at like 50 51 and yeah I and I do you don't you don't do anything with the uh, pen or well, I don't do anything with the pen and you do the line up which I'm gonna speed up I hope you guys like this video I know it's a bit like awkward and boring but I don't know it's just I want you to just do something different because I can't just do the same thing over and again or you guys will get bored so yeah that's why I'm doing this really and then when you're done with the uh, layer or the line art you just delete the uh, bottom layer and boom you got your just do layer adjustments you got your and yeah, uh, I think yeah, it's just the end. I'm not going to do the main because that takes way too long. And I don't know if you guys like this sort of videos. So please, please write what you think in the comments. Or like it if you like this sort of thing. I might do it, not weekly. I don't know how to do it, I chose. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos. On everything, you know, just just buy, just 